here to the job of the day. This morning we have a pretty big job we're going to be knocking out. So if you can see here, we have all the trees you can see. This one, that one there. There's one leaning right over the fence, small one right behind it. It's another one leaning towards the right a little bit. Knock those out there, clean up all that area. And then in the back of the house, we have a bunch of dead ash trees that we have to remove. You guys might remember this house from a huge project we knocked out a couple weeks ago. So we're back here removing a couple more dead trees. Like I said, we're gonna be knocking out this bunch of trees you see here, all of those. Not too bad, a couple of them are pretty big, but thinking of maybe setting up the chipper right here in this area, just walking down this hill, get that all chipped up. Then the logs will take them down through there. For these though, for the ones in the back, we have a different plan. We're gonna be coming out that way there, but let me go back there to show you guys. In the back here, we have a bunch of dead trees we're gonna be removing. So basically there's a fence there. You can kind of see it. it goes all the way around the property. Any dead tree that's on this side of the fence is getting removed. So we have that one there, you kind of see it. We have this big one. We have this other big one here. This small one right here, that's dead. And then we have a bunch of dead ones over there. Either way, once we start knocking them out, I'll start showing them a little bit better. But basically any dead tree you see there, fence ends. The fence ends a little bit behind those trees there. We're gonna be coming out right through this fence here. You can see it's a much bigger area. We can pass right through there, grab all the stuff, branches, logs, everything, bring it back. We just have to take these zip ties off. We'll take these zip ties off, roll this fence back, place it there for now, and then we'll place it back. We already let the customers know, said it's completely fine. So we'll remove, we'll remove that and then we'll come out through here. You can see we have both minis with us. Chipper right there, we'll set it up a little bit later there. So we got this first one down. I already picked up the majority of the branches. We gotta clean up all this mess. It's a huge mess. You can see there's a bunch of bark everywhere. This tree was completely dead. Luckily, but Adam made it down, no problem. It's a little bit worried because it was completely dead, but he was able to tie off to that one branch up there. He was able to knock it out, no problem. 
Now we're gonna clean up all this area, leave it all nice and clean. Shipper actually got clogged. We're honestly tired of dealing with that backup chipper. We might just uh, continue to bring in the, the green one, but we keep getting it fixed and we try to bring it in to see if it won't get stuck in it. Keeps being an issue, but uh, we're gonna clean up all this area, leave it all nice and clean, and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the trees. to the ash trees in the back we're gonna start with this one here then we have the one right behind it and we have a couple dead surrounding the fence area there that we have to remove a couple there that we have to knock out we're about to get that fence taken off so we can pass with the mini right through there get the branches all chipped up Right, so we just finished knocking down these first three trees now all we have left is to pick up all these logs the guys are going to get ready to get a rope around this one here so we'll hopefully we could drop it the same way as these we're going to start picking up all these branches pick up all these logs clean up this area a bit and then we'll move on to all these trees you see here basically any dead tree you see like this one here we have that one there a couple more back there we got to drop all those clean everything up pick up all these logs at some point i'm going to have to go take the truck to get dumped uh, I'll get all these logs loaded up and I have to take that GMC to get dumped at some point But right now we're gonna get a rope around this one drop that one and clean up all this area
so I picked up most of those logs there. Still got a bunch more that I have to pick up, like those there. I already have a huge pile of logs there already to get loaded up. In a little bit, I'm actually gonna start loading that up. But you can see Berardo, he's halfway up the tree. Kinda see him right there. The reason why he climbed up about halfway is because the tree's too long. We don't really wanna land it. Have, we don't really wanna have it land all the way over here. So he's gonna cut it about halfway. So it can land in that area there where we have all those other branches. That way when we clean up, we just clean up all that area, leave it all nice and clean. Got a bunch of cleanup. We'll most likely have to come back tomorrow to finish up the job, but we're gonna clean up as much as we can, knock out as many trees as we can. Still got a bunch more that have to come down. This area here is basically complete. Still have a couple more that we have to drop though. A couple small ones like this one on that right side there, but right now we're gonna drop this piece, and then we'll clean it up. The chip truck's basically full, so we're going to chip up a couple more branches and then I'll take that over to get dumped. When I get back, I'll start loading up the GMC with logs. so we just dropped this fifth tree now we got to clean up all this area the chip truck's basically full so i'm gonna have to go take that to get dumped in a second we have a rope around that last piece there so we could drop it and then we're gonna move on to this other one that has the rope do basically the same thing then we have the one right behind it another one kind of leaning this way there's a bunch of trees that we have to knock out there you guys would see i think it was a total forget how many trees it was exactly but this is most likely going to take two days to complete especially with all the cleaning we got to pick up all those logs take them to get dumped stuff like that so we're going to continue on start cleaning up all these branches get that all chipped up start picking up those logs that are left clean up all this area leave it all nice and clean Chip truck's completely full. You can see Jonathan's there disconnecting the chipper up. I'm gonna head over to get that dumped. When I get back, we're gonna start loading up all these logs right into the GMC there. I don't know how much of this is gonna fit into the GMC. I'm hoping at least all this pile here will fit in one trip, but we'll see. We still have a bunch of logs we have to pick up. Either way, we're gonna come back here tomorrow. We have a bunch of cleanup we have left, a bunch of logs we still have to pick up. 
and a bunch of branches we got to uh, chip up and we still have a bunch of trees that are coming down you kind of see them from here but all those dead trees are coming down it's a pretty big job but we're hoping to at least get it done by tomorrow i think that's as long as it's going to take While the guys keep working back there, I'm going to start loading up all these logs, hopefully get that truck dumped, and Jonathan's going to start uh, chipping up that area there. I think I'm going to go grab the other mini so he can help himself out with that mini there, and I can start loading up all the logs. set here the guys are heading out we actually cleaned up this area the best we can we have a small pile there but either way we'll be back here tomorrow got a bunch of logs that we have to pick up the guys actually cleaned up everything in the back 
got that all nice and clean all that grass area there but tomorrow we'll be back we have a bunch more trees that we have to drop a bunch of cleanup we got to do we got to get this grass nice and clean we're all done for the day i think i'm gonna end the video here just so there's a little bit of daylight but i want to thank anybody who took their time out of the day to watch the video any questions any comments any tips for me leave them down below catch you guys next time